Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I am doing a... Today we need to do an intro. I did an intro. <laughs> Never mind. For today's foundation review, I will be doing the um, L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear. And I have mine in 425. I picked mine up at Ulta and I believe it was around $12.99. They did have a deal um, for L'Oreal that if you bought two items, you got one free. So I picked up like two lipsticks that I want to kind of like wear out. Um, I'll wear them out today and I'm actually vlogging so I'm vlogging my day it's like pouring outside which I hate driving in the rain people don't know how to drive go they go crazy sometimes and it's like dude like you gotta calm down like Ross in that friends episode that he's like so it does have a pump which obviously we all love that it does have a, a sunscreen SPF 25 so this may have a little bit of flashback I myself just like to put it a little bit in a little container and oh it's really really liquidy I don't know if you guys can see that like it's very runny I'm gonna do just I did two pumps no two and a half pumps right now because I've seen it's uh, extremely full coverage foundation I assume that it was gonna be a little a little bit heavier as you guys can see as always like I have redness right here and we'll go ahead and see how that covers it so I usually just kind of dot it around my face it cover a lot of my redness on my cheek um, it was a little bit of cover a little bit of foundation so I can definitely see that it does have a lot of coverage and you may not need a lot of like you don't have to like cake it up you know it doesn't have a scent to it I do use my foundation kind of like I outline my eyebrows with it it is extremely lightweight like I'm not needing a lot of foundation which is good because it's not gonna like look cakey so that's why I'm thinking, well, the thing is that if it's very liquidy, then where are you, like, I don't know, how is it lasting so much and it's not, how is it giving you coverage for, like, so many hours? I'm obviously not going to wear it for 24 hours, like, I've never, I don't think I've ever worn makeup for 24 hours. One more pump. And actually, I did a really good job at picking my color because I sometimes suck. <laughs> and I always pick one that's either like way too dark or way too light. Like I can never, with like new foundations, I can never pick the correct shade. Um, I definitely like the coverage. It definitely did cover my redness on my cheeks. Um, I definitely see this is a like high medium to like full coverage foundation. I have oily skin so I don't know how well this is gonna like um, wear throughout the day. I really like the um, I really like the finish. It does feel tacky to the touch so I obviously do need to set this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, go and do the rest of my face off camera and then I'll come back and kind of let you guys know how everything blended at the end. As you guys can see, I finished putting my whole foundation routine and everything on, as well as my eyebrows. And I gotta say, like, the coverage, everything blended so, so nice on my skin. Um, it doesn't, it feels a little tacky down here where I didn't put, like, extra powder, um, as far as, like, contour and stuff. I did set it with my, um, uh, MAC, um, I always forget the name, but it's just, like, the powder foundation, the Studio Fix powder foundation. And it does feel nice. The foundation gave me full coverage so I didn't like pack on the powder and I gotta say like it looks really really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just go throughout the day. It's currently 10.40 a.m. I finished my whole entire face and I'll update you guys kind of like at the end of the day. Hey guys, so it's currently 11.23. I have been wearing this foundation for 13 hours. Because I finished um, my like applying it and power and like setting it on place. I have been wearing this foundation for 13 hours. I am ready to take off my makeup, but I wanted to come in and kind of like show you guys 
how this foundation wore throughout the day. So I do have a normal to oily skin, so it's like combo skin. Uh, right now with the winter, it's a little bit more on the dry side, but usually it's oily. And as you guys can see, and I'll zoom you guys in a bit, but it looks from afar, it looks really nice. I can still see my blush, I can still see my highlight and my bronzer or yeah like my bronzer and contour you can still see that my skin looks a little bit oily up here on my t-zone usually so i did eat today so obviously around the mouth is going to be more worn out um my chin as you guys can see right here there's like no foundation whatsoever but like i said you can still see a little bit of my bronzer and my blush and my highlight i feel like my skin is barely like peeking through right here Overall, like I can still see my bronzer up here, but overall, I really like how this foundation like wore off for 13 hours. I feel like it's this is like incredible. My skin looks very healthy looking, although I do look a little bit oily. I feel like it does look healthy. So overall, after 13 hours, I really really like this foundation. I may have found another like favorite from the drugstore. You guys know that NYX uh, Can't Stop One Stop is like my ultimate favorite foundation, but like looking at how this foundation looks right now, I'm pretty sure I found like another drugstore favorite. I think what I'm surprised the most is that you can still see my blush and my highlight and like the other components of my face. Overall, like, I definitely recommend this foundation. It looks amazing, and it's drugstore. That's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and little button down there. As always, all of my social media are going to be linked down in the description box. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video.